At a mental health facility in the city of Nanjing, staff and patients attend one of the daily exercise sessions. Along with counselling and drugs designed to treat stress and depression, these patients can count themselves lucky. For every one patient being treated here, it is estimated there are up to 20 others who should be. College student Lee has been here for five months. Before I came into hospital, I was unable to communicate with anyone. I was in a terrible state and felt close to collapse emotionally. I thought about committing suicide. As one of China's leading experts on stress, Professor Jiang Ning has seen an alarming rise in the number of patients suffering from work-related mental illness. In the past 30 years, the opening up of China has been very rapid and people feel the pressure. It is unprecedented. And I've been paying a lot of attention to occupational burnout, which happens especially among white-collar workers and high achievers. The development of China into a more competition-driven economy has resulted in the kinds of pressures until now associated with more developed societies. The pressures of the modern urban environment, it seems, are taking a toll, and as with so many other new challenges for China, the potential for growth is astounding. One report from Shanghai suggests more than 80% of depressed people are currently going untreated. And as China's smaller cities are reached by the same combination of urban pressure and a greater awareness of what stress is, the problem is likely to get bigger. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Nanjing.